Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So you know how Windows 10 finally hit its end of life on October 14th, right? Well, guess what? That same day, Zorin OS 18 launched. And honestly, the timing couldn't have been more perfect. According to the Zorin group, yeah, the folks behind the distro, Zorin OS 18 passed 100,000 downloads in just over two days. That's their biggest launch ever. And here's the crazy part. Over 72% of those downloads came from Windows users. That's right, people who literally ditched Windows the moment it went out of support. Now, a lot of this has to do with Microsoft's decisions. They basically said, hey, if your PC doesn't have TPM 2.0 or a newer CPU, you can't run Windows 11. And that's um, super annoying. It's not just an inconvenience. It's, it's pushing millions of perfectly good PCs toward the e-waste pile. Sure, Microsoft is offering extended security updates for Windows 10 but it's around $33 per device and only for a few years. So you either pay to upgrade now or pay to stay and still pay later. Not the best deal, huh? That's where Zorin OS 18 comes in. It's based on Ubuntu, so it's rock solid. But what's really cool is how it's designed for, let's be honest, Windows refugees. It's got a polished interface that feels familiar, built-in OneDrive access right from the file manager and an upgraded app detection system that helps you install Windows apps easily. Plus, the new web apps tool makes it super simple to turn websites into desktop apps. So yeah, for anyone leaving Windows, Zorin OS 18 basically says, hey, you don't have to start from scratch. And here's the thing. This isn't just about Zorin. When people realize Linux can be this smooth, it changes how they think about computers. Microsoft might have just made free and open source software feel like a rational choice not just an ideological one. Right now, Windows 10 still powers over 40% of active Windows installs worldwide. So if even a small chunk of those users move to Linux, it could be a huge boost for the open source community. Kind of like that African concept, I am because we are. In this case, Linux grows because we switch. So yeah, Zorin OS 18 didn't just break records. It might be the start of a real shift in how we think about desktop computing. What do you think? Are you planning to switch from Windows 10? Drop your thoughts below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you enjoy Linux content like this. See you in the next one.